Welcome, John. Glad you could make it. The shop wanted me to run you through the Soldier of Fortune tactical course before your upcoming mission. After all, even a seasoned vet like you needs to hone your skills now and again. Okay, let's begin. Walk up to the door ahead of you and use it. That's right, you'll notice that there is a hostage waiting to be rescued in this room. To help out innocent folks, or gain valuable information from them, apply the Use key on them as you encounter them. Good. This will also work on locks, keypads, switches, and the like. Use the switch on the door in front of you, and let's go over our HUD. Alright, let's refresh you on your tactical heads-up display. On the bottom of your HUD are your health and armor meters. The gray metal bar across the top displays the amount of armor you're currently wearing. Watch this one closely. It's the only thing protecting your hide from a bad case of lead poisoning. The red bar below your armor meter shows your current health. When that runs out, you'll be pushing up daisies, so keep an eye on it. FYI, your armor will generally run out before your health starts to drop. That is, unless they shoot you with armor-piercing rounds or you fall for a long distance. Just below your health and armor meter is something new from the shop. It's your personal audio detection device, or pad. Essentially, this is just a fancy name for a device that reflects how loud you're being. If you're making a lot of noise, the pad will show it. The more noise you make, the easier it is for your enemies to find you. If you're in the green, you should be okay. Watch out when you start to get in the yellow. And cross your fingers when you hit the red. This little baby is a definite lifesaver if you're trying to sneak around. If you're looking to avoid detection, use your quieter weapons. On the lower left-hand side of your HUD is your inventory. This shows the items that you have in your possession. You can cycle through all of the items that you're carrying by using the Next Item and Previous Item keys. Press the Use Item key to activate the currently selected item. A word of warning, John. Be very sure of what item you're using, as some of them can be potentially dangerous to you. Remember the C4 incident with Hughes. <laughs> now, the lower right-hand image is your weapon inventory. Use the number keys 1 through 0 to select the specific weapons that you are carrying, or use the next weapon and previous weapon keys to cycle through your weapon inventory. Alright, let's head to the confidence course to learn some basic field maneuvers. John, this one's important. To survey around corners and recon the area, press and hold the Use and Strafe Left or Strafe Right key. Not only could this give you the element of surprise, it also gives you vital cover and could save your ass. If you have to get through some low areas and need to crouch, press and hold the Crouch key. You can also crouch to take advantage of low cover. Go ahead and work your way forward using the Crouch key. Now let's test your legs. Press the jump key to jump onto low cover. Good. Glad to see you're still in prime shape. I should start working out again one of these days. Okay, let's say we make our way to the weapon testing area. Start off with some sniping. Exercise, you'll see various targets pop up and you'll have a short time to zero in and neutralize them. To get started, press the alternate fire key to bring the sniper rifle scope into view. You'll want to zoom in and zoom out with the Weapon Special 1 and Weapon Special 2 keys. This will let you get up close and personal with your target. If you find yourself running low on ammo on your clip, you're going to have to reload. Use the reload key so you don't get caught with your pants down. Okay, let's have it those targets. Just a reminder, some weapons have higher armor penetration. Make sure you choose the right weapons for the job. For example, against an armored opponent, a shotgun will do squat. A 44 caliber pistol will do wonders. Now let's look into using your environment to help you. 
Notice that pile of barrels in the corner? Stay a respectable distance away and shoot the red one. Nice fireworks display, eh? Great shooting, Tex. You're ready for the final phase, the downtown gallery. Simply walk from the spot marked at the beginning of the street to the end of the street, shoot any thug that pops up. If you don't see a weapon in their hand, don't shoot, no matter how ugly they are. Good luck. Just like I knew you would. Exit the course and I'll see you when Jimmy calls. Peace, man. <laughs>